In this video, we're going to take a look at zero bounce versus SMTP. Understand we are only looking at bulk email validation in both SMTP and zero bounce. Because to compare apples to apples, zero bounce just has more features. But understand with features come price. And simply to start off, this is the pricing for zero bounce. Pay as you go for 2000 emails to verify it is one cent per email or 20 us dollars if you have a monthly subscription it takes it down to 18 dollars versus smtp ping if you pay monthly they have 6,000 monthly credits for 4.99 or they have pay as you go where you can process 3,000 emails for as little as three dollars also a quick note link in the description there is a one-time deal over at appsumo to pick up SMTP email validation, and it will allow you to validate all your email lists to drastically improve deliverability for new email campaigns. Again, remember, we're only comparing the bulk tool. So under zero bounce, you click validate, and then you upload your list. Here you can see a report for 1,579 total emails. Zero bounce came back and said 93.67 valid. It listed the percentage of valid, invalid, catch all, spam traps, abuse, do not mail, and unknown. SMTP ping did the same validation for the same list, 1,579 emails. You can see here it came up with 1,461 were valid. It came up with 34 invalid, 26 were spam trap, and 41 were unknown, with 17 being catch all. You can come down and look at your history inside of SMT ping. Here you can see your results. This looks more similar to the results page that you saw over in zero bounce. The big idea here or the concept is you click here to download all this data in CSV or spreadsheets. The same with SMT ping. You scroll down here. You can download all results. You can download valid results or you can export a report. The download option inside of Zero Bounce downloads a zip file, and then you are presented inside of that zip file with each individual report as a .csv that you can analyze. Both Zero Bounce and SMT ping come with PDF reports. Here you can see the PDF report from Zero Bounce. It is just a one page report. It's very clean and I do like it. I think it is better than what Zero Bounce has done. Basically all they've done is create a PDF version of each image that was on the page and then put a little information in here. And the information, while it looks like it's giving you information, honestly, it's not really giving you as much as I would hope for, especially when it's explaining the email validation chart, when it talks about categories good, probably gray listed, probably bad and bad, versus the actual chart shows valid, unknown, spam trap, and valid, and catch all. Just like they did over at Zero Bounce, Valid, Invalid, Unknown, Abuse, Spam Trap, Catch All, Do Not Mail. Now, Zero Bounce does win when it comes to documentation. They have a FAQ and a doc section that has a video as well as an explanation for each one of their status codes, starting with Valid, Invalid, Catch All, Spam Trap, Abuse, Do Not Mail, Unknown, as well as other fields. And when you get into this validation of codes... No matter which one you pick, this is the CSV file from SMTP ping after it's been cleaned or it provides the status code. Here you can see valid, invalid. Basically, it's just giving you this list of valid codes or status codes and you have to go through this manually. That's the idea of bulk validation when you're talking about emails is you're going through spreadsheets. You're going through these S CSV files and you're looking at each one of these individually and then you're looking and making decisions based upon the status codes. This is the CSV file that was given to me by Zero Bounce. You actually have to scroll all the way over to the end to get the status codes here, but it's exactly the same. Of course, Zero Bounce has added a few different codes, which you can see here in the PDF. Zero Bounce has valid, invalid, unknown, abuse, spam trap, catch all, do not mail. Over at SMT ping, they have valid, unknown, spam trap, invalid, and catch all. And it did come up with different reports for different emails or different domains. For example, here, Spam Trap came up with 0% over at Zero Bounce, while SMT Ping came up with 26 emails in that same list, or 1.6% as Spam Traps. So while they both have different definitions of Spam Traps or different status codes, 
or different definitions for all the status codes they provide. The big concept here is the monthly. Over at Zero Bounce, you pay $18 a month or you pay $20 if you pay as you go. Also remember that all these other tools inside of Zero Bounce cost you credits. Basically one more credit to do each one of these per email. So double or triple the credits depending on how many of these options you choose. Whereas currently SMTP Trap is just doing bulk email validation and link in the description to pick this up right now over at AppSumo. The current plans to do bulk email validation gets you 30,000 email validation credits per month. If you buy the tier one license all the way up to a license tier four, which would get you 1.25 million validation credits with the tier four license currently for $349, but as a one-time payment. So at the end of the day, SMTP currently a one-time price to get bulk validation, which basically gives you the same codes, the same information with a CSV spreadsheet that you download to go through the codes, to go through the emails and make the decision at the end of the day, whether you want to keep that email on your list or not. So my recommendation, if you're doing just bulk email validation, and you want to just upload them manually and get a report that you then sift through to double check and verify what the tools are telling you, go ahead and check out AppSumo, link in the description, one-time price. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.